In the last few years, electric cars seem to be everywhere. But if you think that today's wattage wagons are something new, eh, you'd be very wrong. When it comes to driving with plug-in power, what was once current is current once again. Get it current, electricity. Today, you can buy a car in any size, shape, and color you want. You can even choose how it's powered with gas or electricity or both. And guess what? Your great-great-grandfather had the same choice. That's right, he just might have cruised in a hybrid or a battery-charged vehicle. The Henry Ford's Matt Anderson took me on a tour of the museum's unique collection of vintage electric cars. These days, everybody's talking about the electric car. How new is this idea? Well, believe it or not, the electric car's been around for more than 100 years. I do find that hard to believe because 100 years ago is pretty much the dawn of the automobile. Well, that's right, but at the start it was an open question whether cars would be fueled by steam, electricity, or gas. And you want to talk about the beginning, here's an electric car from 1896. Whoa! This was built by a man named Andrew Riker of Connecticut, and he just built it as his own personal car, but it's got a range of about 25 miles and a top speed maybe about 20 miles an hour. Okay, but for back then, that was a reasonable speed. Perfectly respectable, yes. What was the upside of this? Upside is that they're extremely quiet and extremely easy to operate. You don't have to have a transmission, you don't have to shift gears, so uh, that works pretty well. The downside, of course, is the limited range and the heavy weight of the batteries. They had battery rechargers back then? They did, the electric car was a big deal then. In fact, uh, in 1900, they sold more electric cars than they did gas, so for a while, the infrastructure was all there. Matt is correct. Just look at this map of New York City from 1923. All those red circles are recharging stations for electric cars. But gasoline engines started gaining in popularity because of the power and mileage they provided. And they were much lighter than all those batteries. At one point, there was an attempt to use both technologies. This is a little more modern. This is a 1916 Woods dual power. So it's got a gas and an electric motor. It's a hybrid. The hybrid, the, the idea of a hybrid to me sounds so modern. It, it does, but here we are almost 100 years earlier and it does a lot of the same things. You drive this car on the battery to get started, you get to about 15, 20 miles an hour, you cut in the gas engine, and then that works to charge your batteries. Well, unfortunately, it was the right car at the wrong time and Woods was out of business within a couple of years. That's because gasoline won the power battle and automakers built cars with only gas engines pretty much until the oil crisis of 1973. This ain't pretty. Uh, no, this is a car built for a very specific purpose. It's called a commuter car, which says what it is. The idea is that you would drive this electric car just to and from work every day. So this has got a range of 40 miles, which is more than enough to get you there. You plug in at work, and then you go off home at the end of the day. This is, looks like a very out dated vision of the future. Yeah, you're not gonna win any car shows with this thing, but it'll get you there. Another electric car developed in 1996 was this General Motors EV1, the first ever mass-produced electric car by a major automaker in the modern era. Unfortunately, GM didn't see huge profit potential in electric cars and recalled every EV1, destroying most of them. Only about 40 remain, like this one on display at the Henry Ford. Today, hybrids and electric cars are cool all over again. Just look at a map of Manhattan now nearly identical to the one from 1923, covered with charging stations. It's fun to go back in time and ride in something like this, a 1922 Detroit Electric, and realize that electric cars have a circle of life. Do you have a license for indoor driving? Uh, no, but hopefully we won't get pulled over in here. You know what they call this road? What's that? Electric Avenue. How do you feel about this experience? You know, I'm getting a charge out of it. I set you up for that. <laughs>